name in school? I'm Kirby Cannon, and I'm the head football coach at Austin Peay State University. All right, Coach, can you give us your general thoughts about the upcoming season? Well, it's an exciting season. It's my uh, third season at Austin P. Uh, we'll be welcoming our, our second recruiting class there. Um, and we know that's an outstanding class uh, that we, you know, had a full 12 month recruiting period uh, to bring in. And we're going to need a few of those guys to uh, step up and help us uh, this season, which you'd love to, you know, redshirt some of them. But uh, right now with uh, where we're at as a program, you know, young kids are the uh, staple of the program. So uh, we'll be looking forward to those guys getting there in August. And then, uh, you know, we need to. Uh, a few people, particularly on the offensive side, I think, to surprise us and step up and be a little bit better. Uh, we were a very poor offensive team last year, and um, you won't notice our improvement on defense until our offense gets a little bit better. So, again, it's going to be a good year. We play a great schedule. We come down to Nashville and play Vanderbilt, so that's a, a highlight for our kids. And then the OVC action is going to be pretty uh, tough. But right off the bat, we start off with some of the heavyweights in the league. Sure. What do you like most about your team this year? Uh, just the idea that they've matured so much, uh, I, I think, in the last year. Um, you know, instead of teaching them how to practice, uh, which we did in the fall, they practiced and, and they did a great job in the off season. So, you know, I, I just think that we're on track from a maturity standpoint. You know, the nuts and bolts of it says that you know we've got a lot of guys back that have started ball games. I have four quarterbacks that have started at least one ball game in college. That's not uh, a common situation. Uh, we also uh, really believe that our strength programs have, have begun to you know, really give us a chance to compete down in the, the offensive and defensive lines. What's the biggest challenge your team's going to face? I think just the belief that we can win and be successful. Um, you know, I think a lot of times players as individuals say, I'm good enough, but they wonder about the guy next to them. And, uh, that guy is wondering about the guy next to him. And uh, sometimes you need uh, a little more belief uh, than you have proof uh, in, in getting programs to move forward and start showing some, you know, some win totals. Uh, but that's, um, you know, that's the challenge every coach, I think, in the, in the building uh, has today is, is to try to get everyone to believe in what you're doing, uh, believe in the potential of our team, and then go out and have some performances. Now, what are your general thoughts about the OVC race, and what's it going to take to compete for that championship? Well, for us to compete, it would it would take some other teams, I think, uh, not playing very well the day they played us. Um, you know, sometimes as as you're the last place team, uh, you know, as far as the picks go, you have a little bit of an advantage that you can sneak up on some people. Like I said, this conference schedule doesn't do as much of a gift, and that we start off with some of the better teams as far as the rankings go. And uh, but if we're able to compete early. You know, we could be a good football team by midseason, and uh, we'll see what happens. Sure. And finally, can you tell us any thoughts about the impact that the new Governor Stadium has had on you and your program? Well, it's had a huge impact on our recruiting. Uh, you know, we've doubled our numbers in camps and on our on-campus visits, and um, you know, it's been that way for quite a while at Austin P. If you get them on campus, they see the quality of the school, they see the quality of the community, and, and the campus life itself, and you've got a chance to get them. But there was always uh, something holding them back, I think, from making that decision to come to Austin P. And that was the facility base. But all that's changed certainly, and uh, we're getting ready to start our uh, weight room and some of those other uh, facilities that don't get as much publicity maybe as the stadium itself. But it's had a huge impact on our recruiting, and it's had a huge impact on our belief that, that football is important at Austin P, and that we have a lot of support. You don't build a, a $21 million facility uh, without a lot of support from the top, uh, from the TBR to uh, you know, everybody else on campus. Sure. Well,